Hey guys, it's Angela. Um, I know I haven't posted a video in a long time and I wasn't going to. I was going to be taking a break from YouTube. Um, but lately I've been experiencing some weird things. As you can tell from the title, I'm going to be talking about how Shane Dawson broke my phone and some of my paranormal activity experiences that I've had. Here's a little backstory about me. I'm always into that, I've been into that paranormal activity stuff, you know, conspiracy theories, horror movies, all that stuff. I'm into it. I can watch horror movies at 3 o'clock in the morning, which I know is a devil's hour or something like that. Um, <clears throat> so that's just me. Um, so basically, a few weeks ago, I've been watching Shane Dawson's videos. And, um, so, I was watching, I went on, I think I went on Shane Dawson's, um, Twitter account, and then I decided I should check out his page. And I looked through his videos, and the ones that caught my eye were his conspiracy videos, so I decided to watch one. And, ever since then, I've been, I love his conspiracy videos, um, I watch them all the time. But my phone has been acting weird ever since I started watching his videos. So I would literally have my headphones in and I bought new headphones to see if it were my head they were my headphones. And no, it happened with my new headphones too. I would be listening to music and all of a sudden Siri would open up and the volume would go up and down. And it's just crazy, and I don't even touch my phone. Like, even when I have it, like, on my bed listening to music, it happens, and it freaked me out. <laughs> and so, Shane, he didn't break my phone, but, like, it freaked me the fuck out. Um, like, I would literally hold my phone like this. This isn't... My, this is my old phone. I would literally be holding my phone like this. It would even happen with videos. Like if I would be watching his videos, like Siri would just pop up or it would like the volume would go up and down. My music would start playing like out of nowhere and it's just really weird and I would just hold my phone like this, like normal, not even touching like the screen or anything like this like how people normally hold their phones while they're watching videos and stuff like that or if I'm listening to music I would just hold it like this nowhere near my headphone place and I have an iPhone 6s plus so the headphones is at the bottom not like this one that's at the top um, and I wouldn't even touch it I normally if I put my phone in my pocket I normally have the headphone the headphone jack facing upwards so it's not like in my pocket and it uh, yeah it just happened and I find it really really weird that after I started watching Shane's videos that it started and you know I think I said it freaked me out but it didn't really freak me out because I'm used to you know all these paranormal stuff um, for many of you who don't know, I used to live in Ottawa, um, and that place was full of paranormal activity, um, there's, there's ghosts, um, I haven't personally witnessed a ghost, but I know my grandmother has, and normally it's fine, it's just family members that have passed away, or it's not fine, I don't, I don't know. But, um, I've never witnessed it, but I'm going to tell it to you guys now. So, basically, um, our apartment in Ottawa is, there's the entrance, the door's right here, and then there's, like, a little hallway, and then there's, like, a hallway like this. So, it goes kind of like an, a T kind of thing. So, right across from the door on this wall, um... <clears throat> We had a kind of like a nightstand, but we had a um it, it was basically like a nightstand. We had a lamp on it. We had um because 
we're Spanish, so we're fairly religious, so we have our virgin, um, and we have a bunch of stuff, and one night, we heard a, like, we heard something fall, and we go to check, and the lamp that's over here ended up in front of the door, like if someone threw it. And <laughs> to me, that's a, you know, it was weird, but like stuff like that has been happening as well as like upstairs, there's always, it always sounds like there's like a kid running or like a kid dropping a ball or something. And when we go to ask who lives upstairs, it's a single person with no kid, no you know, family here and stuff like that, so that's fairly weird as well. Um, and my grandmother, going back to the time when my grandmother saw a ghost, um, I was wearing, I was, I think I was wearing a, my red, a red shirt and like, I don't know, white pants or something like that, I don't know, I don't remember, but my grandma swore that she saw me walking from the bathroom across her bedroom and into like my room but i never left my bedroom <laughs> so um it's a ghost and also we would have our tv whenever we would turn it off and like go to leave the room the tv would just randomly turn on out of nowhere like we wouldn't even have the remote close to us like the remote would be on the other side of the room and we'd be walking out of the room and it would turn on and like I said it doesn't freak me out because it's been happening for so long um, so I don't know I know it's not normal but I've just gotten used to it I guess <laughs> um, and now that I've moved to Toronto for those of you who don't know, I've moved to Toronto, which is where I was born. Um, the I was fine for like I've been here for three years in July next month, and this is the first year that it has happened. I've had paranormal activity type of things happen. Um, and not to mention, I think the kid upstairs is possessed because he would literally start screaming like he's possessed. <laughs> um, but anyways, that's not the story I wanted to get into. What I wanted to get into was at work. I work as a cleaner in um, the in offices, and on I work two jobs. So I work Monday to Friday at one building as a cleaner and then on the weekend saturday and sunday i work at another building as a cleaner as well for the same company the same same bu same building it's the electrical building i don't know hydro <laughs> electricity they're in charge of all that um so i was at my weekend job and this happens almost every time i go um so what I basically what I do is I clean bathrooms, I clean the kitchen, and I take out their garbage and stuff like that. When I'm done cleaning the men's washroom, or while I'm cleaning it, it sounds like someone opens the door to come into the bathroom. And I check and I look and there's no there's no one there. There's no signs that the door's been opened or anything. And, you know, like I said, it doesn't freak me out, but still it's, like, weird. Because after two years of not having any paranormal activity in my life at all, um, it's happened. Now, I don't know if it's, like, a sign. I don't know what's going on. But, you know, it's weird because it stopped for two years and then it started again. But... Anyways, that's my paranormal activity stories and how Shane Dawson 
broke my phone <laughs> I guess I don't know I love Shane Dawson's videos I don't know I've been living under a rock because I just recently started watching his videos um, but I'm not going to stop watching his videos they're just too funny I love him to death now um, so yeah um, all my social media will be in the description below if you want to follow me ask me stuff if you want to you know talk to me social media down below and um, let me know if you guys want more story time I have so many story times so many stories about my childhood and how my childhood was not the greatest growing up so if you guys want to hear about that like my video share it as well this video share this video like it comment below if you want to hear that story um yeah share my video subscribe to my channel all that other stuff i normally say in my videos and i'll see you guys next time bye